Today, the Way 31I team learned a Lawrence County deputy will face disciplinary action for failing to follow proper procedures before the death of a 12 year old girl. The sheriff told us the deputy should have contacted the Department of Human Resources when he responded to a Thanksgiving Day call. Way 31's Brecken and Terry asked the sheriff what kind of punishment the deputy faces. Lawrence County Sheriff Gene Mitchell tells me he cannot go into specifics about the deputy's punishment because it's a personnel matter. But this isn't the sheriff's office first time to be called about this child walking around unsupervised. At the Way 31 I team's request, Lawrence County Sheriff Gene Mitchell sifted through dispatch calls and told us from May 2017 to last week they had three calls involving Jayla and her family. But it was always something around the kids and things like that. On two occasions, neighbors called 911 because Jayla Sutton was walking around the area without clothing. The girl was mentally disabled and visually impaired. She was walking down the road without any clothes and she went to the neighbor's house. Mitchell admits one of his deputies failed to notify DHR when 12 year old Jayla Sutton walked away Thanksgiving morning and says the deputy will face disciplinary action. That's where we felt like, you know, when our guy fell, fell short, he should have followed up made sure that DHR had the information on it. At 1 a.m. Friday morning, Jayla walked away from her home again and was struck and killed on Highway 157. I asked Mitchell if Jayla's mother could face charges because this wasn't the first problem at the house. And she may be, I'm not saying she will or, or won't, but if she is, that'll come after DHR has looked at it and see, you know, see if it's warranted. The Department of Human Resources cannot give us specifics on Jayla Sutton's case involving her family because of confidentiality laws. In Lawrence County, Brecken Terry, Way 31 News.